Hi and welcome to a new Modern League. Today we are playing Ractus Shadow, which got a few new cards that are really interesting. Obviously, you already know about Nether Goyf, the new Goyf in black, one mana for a Goyf that checks only on your own graveyard, and it also has escape, so a good tool for the late game as well. And then we also have a couple of lands with a spell attached to it. And they are really interesting because they are already good cards and then paying three lives to get a land might be useful to feed our shadow our scourge and this deck aims to be really really aggressive well, we already played a lot of similar versions to this one and i think that these cards are amazing in this shell we try to get an early threat into play and then as soon as we start dealing damage to ourselves or our opponent we end the game with a shadow a scourge and timor battle rage and i think that nether goyf in this shell is just going to be amazing then in the sideboard i wanted to try one toxic deluge and then two vexing bubble just because i want to try stuff out i think the toxic deluge is going to be good not too sure about the vexing bubble we need to try it first and then lane of the void i think that right now is going to be really good because we are going to face a lot of graveyard shenanigans living and is still around storm is back on the menu this is everything about the deck let's jump into a league okay, i'm not too sure about double timur battle rage just one fetch land death shadow i could go for an early nether goy bolt myself down to 14 which is not going to be good enough and i think i should probably take a mulligan here and another one okay this is good though I think I'm going to bottom this one and probably eruption breeding pool. So we are facing that annoying deck. I think I should probably just play a Ragvan. They could go for an early Nadu and that's going to be so bad. But bolting the alpha thing without playing Ragvan doesn't apply enough pressure. Okay, that's fine. I mean, that's not really fine because Nantuku is really good against us. But we have Timur Battle Rage somewhere in the deck. Uh, let's go for... I think I should play double Nether Goyf. I could bolt the Alfling, but they get the Nantuku back anyway. Yeah, let's play two big creatures. Cavern of Souls on top, sure. Yeah, Ragavan is not the best creature in modern right now by far. So, yeah, let's see. Yeah, we got a basic, which is not good at all here. Yeah, they clone the Alfling. That's okay. And they already have Shuko. Okay, I think I should just talk with everyone. Bolt face. I mean, this card surely is big enough for a one mana. But we are facing a really powerful deck. Okay, that's kind of good. Okay, that's fine. Wow, they take four. So they're just going to die to a Timur Butter Rage next turn. Yep, they're attacking me. Which obviously makes sense. I basically have one turn to win the game. So now to six. If I attack with all, they must block... And then they have one, two, three, four, five, six damage into play. So I'm not going to fetch, and they need a removal spell or lethal. Okay, we've got the removal spell. So if I attack with all, they just block, block, block. And then they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. We kill this one, and we should be alive, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm dead, actually. <laughs> I miscounted. Ooh, I'm, I'm surely dead with a Summoner's Pack, so nothing would have changed. I, can, I cannot really do anything about Nadu, right? Uh, let's do this. I mean, they have so many creatures that they're likely going to win with a Tassus Oracle, so I think we should just concede and go next. How do we win, though? Toxic Deluge is going to be really good. Same goes for Engineered Explosives, I think. And Orkish Bowmasters is kind of okay, but they're not the version that draws a million cards. Ragavan, though, is not good against the deck. Maybe one Orkish Bowmasters is just better. Okay, let's try. I mean, we have... Three cards that are really amazing against them. Timur Battle Rage and the other two are just really good. Okay, and we have a turn one Nether Goyf, which is going to be so huge. Let's fetch Shock already. They could ramp up mana now with Flare of Cultivation. Okay, no Flare, nice. Uh, I think you can just cycle in my turn. 
Gonna add cycle. Okay, that's really good. That is really good indeed. Endurance. That's annoying. Going to thought seize you. And I should get the nado, right? I think so. And then I'm just going to play a shadow. I could bolt and push more damage through, but that's not really good against endurance coming in. Okay, sure. They make an insect. And then they're going to play safekeeper, I guess. Okay, that's that's really strong here. Just going to talk with another goyf. And then we can play a 9 and 9. And it's all about drawing Timur Battle Rage now. Even a land might be fine because we can protect our creatures. They're not attacking, okay. Okay, that's good. So they're going to play Endurance. Ring. They don't have the Mystia. They have only these two cards and an unknown one. So should they go for Toxic Deluge? Or should they attack first? This is going to be a 5-5, five five, right? I think I just want to kill everyone here. But if I go minus 4, the Nether Goyf is going to die. Maybe I should attack first. Play with the Bolt in my hand. They're just going to chum block, play Endurance maybe. I can Bolt myself. I could Bolt myself, play another Shadow. And win with Toxic Deluge next turn. Oh, that might be something. Yeah, let's try. Because if I attack in a chum block like these, that's fine. There comes the Endurance. I shuffle my graveyard back. I should have fetched later. Okay. Chum block there, block there. Okay. I bolt myself, kill these two creatures, play another shadow, and next turn we attack with all. We go toxic deluge, we attack with all, and that should be lethal. Unless they manage to draw something like Ah, do you have what is that? Nado. Yeah. They go Nado. If that's just Oh yeah, they can do that as well. They're an go, okay. Summoner's packed. It's not going to do much. And there's the Shuko. But you're missing the land. Okay, we won. It was close, though. That was a bit too close. I mean, Vexing Bubble, though, stopping their Summoner's packed is not too bad. But it's going to stop my Explosives and Mishra's Bubble as well. Could be worth it, though. Let's try one copy of Vexing Bubble. Okay. This is looking fine. I think I should keep... Turn one nether go, I've turned to channeler plus a single spell. Or I, I could go for a channeler first, which is going to be... I think that the channeler might be better. Because if, if we eat delirium, we are going to attack for uh, three flyers. They are not playing that many flying creature aside Nado. This Nantuku is so annoying. Double removal to kill it is just too much. Molten Collapse. I think I'm just going to play creatures and hopefully eat uh, Timur Battle Rage sooner or later. Dismember. Do we need a dismember? I don't think so. And your turn. I think we are already close to being dead. Surely dismember is kind of good against Nadu, but if they go Nadu, they still get two triggers. So I think I should look for Timur. Wow. Okay, those are a lot of Nantukus. Yeah, I need, I need Timur Battle Rage as soon as possible. Or a Toxic Deluge might be fine. That's good. Okay. So we go Channeler again. Kill the Plant Token. Just to set up a Deluge next turn. So I'm looking for Timur Battle Rage. Not Thought Seize. Because next turn they could just go for... Explosives is good though. Actually I like the Explosives here. Ooh. Okay. Are they going to like... Triple block here. I don't think so. So next turn we can go explosives and kill one and two go. Okay, that's not a problem. That's totally fine. We have vexing bubble, so I have to crack vexing bubble, play explosives, and then try to win. Okay, they're attacking me. Sure, sure. I think we are in a fine spot, honestly. I don't need more lands, honestly. I need, I need Timur Battle Rage or that one. Yeah, that could be good. Is that good enough, though? Six damage? No, I don't think so. Sadly, I don't think so. Okay, they're down to four. So they are just dead to my two DRCs unless they have a Nado. If they have Nado, that's game. And I don't even have Vexing Bubble anymore. Ooh, the one ring? 
was not expecting the one ring. Wow, I was not expecting the one ring. So actually, Orkish Bowmaster is not that bad against them. So we need to push one of these two. Yeah, I'm going to play a huge creature because he cannot go for a thought seed. So I'm just going to play these, and I'm going to push one of these two. Whatever. Then I have to talk sadly. Uh, bubble. I don't want a bubble. I don't want a land. I'm going to attack with those two. Let's see. They draw two. They have seven cards in hand. They just need another one. Or a summoner is parked. And they're likely going to win. So they couldn't kill both Nantukos. Another one bring. Okay. I don't have Bone Crusher, Giant. So I need to remove a spell for that Nantuko. I guess I'm just playing more creatures. And I'm going to attack with the DRCs. They still have Endurance. I need to remember that. Wow, oh, they're going down to one. I want Turkish Bowmaster so badly. Okay, they draw two cards, nine cards in hand. It's unlikely for them not to have another. Sure, they can assemble a lot of blockers. That's true. Okay, there's the Nadu. Let's see. It's unlikely for them to not be able to win now. These are the cards in their hand. Hopefully they are just going to, I don't know, assemble a big army. And then we have must remove a spell, we win. Endurance, sure. This is into play. But I mean, they have so many cards that they're just going to play Tassa's Oracle, I think. I was just one card short from winning, so that's okay. Wow, they have Dress Down. Okay, it might be a problem then. Vexing Bubble was okay, but I mean, it just stops Summoner Spark, so maybe it's not that worth it. Lesson learned. They're just going to play another one bring if they don't have the win. But they are thinking about something. Can they go endurance now? They shuffle my graveyard back into the deck and then they play another one ring. Okay, so their plan is just to assemble a huge army. And that's about it. So what can I draw to win the game? Explosives again? I mean explosives is not bad, I guess. Toxic Deluge. Bolt? Bolt is actually good enough. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I guess Bolt is going to work. They have Veil of Summer, which is not going to... Oh! Is Bolt, is Bolt good enough? I think so, right? I think so. So they discarded one ring. Oh, well. Let's see. I'm just going to Bolt them up, Kip. Is this good enough for you? <laughs> it was! <laughs> Let's go! I mean, never surrender, right? Never surrender. Okay, this is not a good end, sadly. Against Kaira. Okay, this is not keepable. We are looking for a Thought Seize at least. Okay, this is fine. So we keep, we bottom one Bragvan. Tarfire is pretty good with DRC. Maybe Death Shadow is not that great though. Against Kaira, turn one Bragman is not bad. Uh, we have nothing to do. I'm looking for a land, so I should cycle first. Okay, we got another Bragman. That's fine. Subtlety. Ooh, wow, okay. Pitching. Narset. Uh, we don't need that Bragman. We have another one, so that's okay. This means that they don't have a prismatic ending or anything like that. Uh, I think I'm just going to play another Bragman and pass the turn. Uh, I think I'm going to play land and attack first, and then we go Channeler, Thought Seize. They could have a Solitude. Yeah, they have Solitude, Pitching, Teferi. Okay, sure. Solitude is really good against us, though. Thought Seize. I need another threat here. Land. I don't like a land here. Okay, so they have... Ring, ring, binding, and attune with narrative. I think I should take one of these two. Which one though? If they have a fetch, they have a basic. So later in binding is still going to cost a lot of mana. I think they should go for attune with the narrative. Upkeep, I go tar fire, and I'm looking for a nether goyf now. Mm. I don't like that card here. I don't want another land in this pot. So the Mulligan to 5 against them is not great because we are kind of out of gas already. Cage for a Sure. 
So they can go binding on my DRC. Okay, that's good. We don't really have an answer main deck to that one ring. So if they eat two land drops in a row, we are kind of dead. Okay, that's really good though. That's really good. It's going to help us end the game a lot faster. Another binding, okay. That's fine, that's fine. We have a better creature. Still no land drop? Okay, that's good. That's good. Give me a fetch, a bolt. I think I'm going to bolt myself. That way I can play a uh, shadow as well. A small 1-1 one, one shadow, but it's still a shadow. One land and you're dead. I mean, they're going to die to discourage anyway. Unless they have something really good like solitude. Tune the narrative. Okay, they draw one and we win. That was kind of easy, but they missed a lot of land drops and such. So, you yeah. know. So this time we won Blood Moon and... Orkish Bowmasters, I don't want Fatal Push, I don't think I need Timur Battle Rage, Dismember. Tarfire is still kind of okay, one bolt out. Breach is okay in the late game, I think I cannot really cut these cards. And what else? Street Wraith is good against them. Usually I cut Shadows against a deck like that, so I'm going to do that. Can we play our deck with Blood Moon? Yeah, I think so. And cutting shadow means that we can fetch safely for our basic land without having to worry about our life total. And that's good because we need a basic swamp at least to, to be able to play the deck with a blood money to play. Okay, we have the basic, we have Nether Goyf. Yeah, that's a really good end. So far, Nether Goyf seems a really powerful magic card. The Mulligan to 5, wow. They got some luck in these two matches. And I'm not too sure about the Bogart. I think that's a good card a cute card and i mean playing two fell the profane is not what i want to do so i think that splitting one and one is okay you could also play um the the old spell the sorcery i don't remember the name and that it's going to be good because you can bring back nether goth and such so yeah you can do that as well uh, i'm going to mishra's bubble Liu first other land okay sure Lot creep, nether goyf, go for one, call the profane, okay. Island cycling, sure. So that's their hand right now, okay. Cycle. DRC, okay. Land, okay. Wanted to grow our nether goyf a bit more. And now I'm looking for a thought seed, so I'm going to play. I'm going to cycle first. We got another bubble, that's good. So we got DRC. Bubble, always trigger, bolt. I'm missing instant and I want a bit more damage, so that's okay. We're going to keep that one. Look at your top card, which is another land. I'm going to attack for three damage. Okay, and I believe Blood is Tren. They have something, they could have a Teferi. If they have a Teferi, that's fine. I'm going to bolt, uh, face, Kyra to end. Wow, that's a bit. I mean, they could have Solitude, I guess. Well, I'm still going to bolt face. Shadow. Do we want to play around the Solitude? I mean, it's a good threat, though. I think I should keep my Shadow. Okay, I'm just going to talk for 7. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to do anything else. I'm going to keep my Orcish Bowmasters around. Yeah, there's the Solitude, that's fine. I could play the Bogger, but I don't think it's the right choice. I need to keep a land to lose life points here. And we still have Orkish Bowmaster as a really good play. Narset. Yeah, that's okay. You can, you can play Narset. Galvanic Discharge. Oh, that's an instant, right? That's annoying then. Should I kill the Narset? Or should I just go face? Oh, that's annoying. I think I should go after the Narset. They are low on resources, so... Tucking like these and face, they have to waste this one and then they cannot really activate the Narset. But we have felt the Profane. I think I should keep it around though. Well, fetch Shock, sure. Galvanic Discharge on DRC makes sense. Honestly, I think that this time I want to play the Bogger. I need creatures. And this is why land cards are so good. 
This, this would have been just a fetch land or a blood creep, right? Or a basic land or anything like that. While right now it's a 3 1. And same goes for Fell the Profane, which is a really good removal in this spot. If they go Solitude now, we have a way to kill it and keep pressuring them. So their last card is Solitude. Okay, that's fine. You cannot really play the Death Shadow. So keeping Death Shadow was a kind of huge mistake, honestly. Yeah, I shouldn't, shouldn't have done that. Okay, Thundering Falls. Keep on top. Oh, that's scary. So if they have another Solitude on top of their deck, I'm just dead. Or still is going to be really, really hard. They need to draw a Scourge or something like that. The one ring. Okay, that's kind of okay. I'm going to take a damage. So they cannot really draw anymore with the, with the one ring, because otherwise they're going to die to the Orcish Bowmasters. Counter on the Shadow, sure. I'm still going to play the land, pass a turn. Uh, I, I haven't anything to fetch with this land, though. Yeah. Because I have four blood creeps and two swarms and one mountain. I have the basic mountain to play around Arbinger, so yeah, I cannot really fetch for anything. Okay, we won, right? Unless they have a Tishana in their deck or something like that. Let's go. 2 0. Okay, we're on the play again. That's good. And that's a pretty good end. Uh, I think I'm going for a Blood Crypt first, because the third land might be needed here. I'm going to wait on the Street Wraith as well. I want to know what I'm looking for. Okay, that's fine. Put the card on top. So they don't have an answer for the Ragvan. We have a Nether Goyf. And we can play Scourge and Nether Goyf the same turn. Wow, okay. This is amazing then. Sure, they do that. But then I do these, play a Scourge as a 2-2 and play a Nether Goyf. <laughs> and then I'm going to ball them. <laughs> this is so good. Should I look for... Yeah, I think I'm looking for a bubble push. That's fine. That's fine. What do you do now? Do you have like double bolt or something like that? Which was bubble? Sure. Look at my top card. I just pass it here like that. Okay. Ooh, that's a cool card. Destroy target land. I think I'm just going to attack and then I'm going to bolt before damage. Seems like they have something. Sure, you bolt me, I bolt you. I'm not playing around spell pierce, which might be a mistake. Yeah, I, it's a mistake actually, yeah, sure. I should have played around spell pierce. Yeah, that's that's a huge mistake, sadly. Yeah, it's a really huge mistake. I missed like six damage. Ah, that's not good. Oh, they take two damage, okay, that's fine. I can hope that they play a creature because I want to go push on something. We just won like that. So Orkish Bowmaster is in. And I think we should cut the Ragavans on the draw. It's still a good card. But they have so many removal spells. Or I could cut Scourge if they have Dress Down. Maybe I do something like this. I keep two of these and cut. What could I cut here? Bolt. Tarfire is kind of okay. It's not going to kill anything actually though. Because it... Tamiyo doesn't die, DRC Flip doesn't die. I mean, they're not playing Shredder, but yeah, Torfire is not going to do much. It's going to kill the Arbinger though, and it's going to buff my creatures. But what else could they cut? Timur Battle Rage? Yeah, maybe. Okay. Scourge is really good against them though, because they are going to take a lot of damage from their own fetches and shocks and such. And I think two copies are fine though. Death Shadow might be okay and fine too, to, and might be enough to win the game. This end is so bad and so good at the same time. I think I have to take a mulligan. Okay, what about this one though? I think I'm going to keep. I just need a fetch land and we are fine. We have a lot of cells to cast, no matter what. Ragavan, we have an answer for that one. Fetch land, please. Okay, another Thought Seize. I'm going to play around Spell Pierce this time. Uh, should we go Thought Seize first? I think we can cycle. Okay, that's good. So we go Thought Seize, they go Counter Spell. I fetch Shulk and Thought Seize again. Sure. So far, so good. Okay, so they have two Salties. Expressive iteration and unlicensed thirst. Unlicensed thirst is really annoying, though. It's really annoying. Expressive iteration is such a powerful card that ignoring it might be a mistake, though. But if I take expressive iteration, they just play unlicensed thirst, and my DRC is never going to do anything. Uh, you should just answer that one. Next turn, I can go DRC Thought Seize. It's unlikely, but they could miss with that iteration. They didn't miss, okay. 
It's still fine though. We have a thought C, so anything they get into their hand, we're going to lose that. Uh, lands are kind of okay right now. At least one land is fine. Bolt. I have to take that bolt though. Yeah, I think I do. So now we have removal spell for the first subtlety and trade the second one. Okay, and they're just going to take three damage. Plus the turn. What do what do we do if they go subtlety now? Do we just play Orcish Bowmasters and dismember? You know what I think I do? I think it might be the right choice, honestly. Because if they have another blue card and they want to, to do something about the Orcish Bowmaster, they have to lose the other subtlety. I don't think that's what they want to do. This time I'm going to get a basic though. I'm really low. And now I just need another removal spell for the other subtlety. I think it's fine. I think we are not in a bad spot. We are too... We are close to being dead to that subtlety, and that's true. But it's also true that we have a lot of removal spells in the deck. Yep, exactly what I meant. So I'm just going to talk with all. I took, sure. Play subtlety, bolt the subtlety. Now I need removal spells. Not like Mishra's bubble. So what do they need now? Like bolt, bolt, merc tide might be good. Nolid, sure. Nolid to go pre-order then. Two bottom draw one. Soul Guide Lantern, okay. So we don't have Delirium anymore. But they have no cards in hand. I just need a Shadow, or a Scourge, or a Nether Goyf. I mean, I take the Nether Goyf, I guess. But that Soul Guide Lantern is going to hurt me. Yeah, I take two and now we have a super small Nether Goyf. Damn, I love this card. So now we need, like... Bolt, another bolt would be okay. Tar fire would be really good here. They could have a counter spell. Push. Okay, push is fine, I guess. So we're going to talk with all. If they have another subtlety, they have subtlety anyway. Okay, down to seven. We have an answer for Tamiyo. What do we have? I feel like they could have the bounce spell. Oh, they're just passing the turn. Okay. Mishra's bubble, that's good. Street Wraith, yeah, Graveyard. Your top card is a land, that's good. Talk for four. The thing is that even if they go for, yeah, okay. That's good. Uh, that's good. I'm going to kill the Brazen Borrower now. I mean, they kind of have to play the Brazen Borrower. This deck is feeling so good. I mean, we are drawing really good, but still. Uh, do we need another DRC? I don't think so, sadly. And they have a land on top, so we might win. And they... <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> what are we going to draw? Land as well. And we have lethal. Okay. Rookish bow masters. Yeah, sure, we take that. They have something. Bolt. Guess I'm still going to win. At least I'm going to try to win. Yup. Okay, we're on the play once again. And this end is looking really amazing, honestly. Turn one, it should probably just go Ragivan though. Yeah, against the Mulligan to 5, we just slam the Ragavan. I'm going to be honest with you. I always thought that Death and Tux is my favorite deck, but I'm having just too much fun playing Shadow in, in every single version there is. Such a cool archetype. It's an aggressive archetype. It could meet mid-range. It could be control. Okay. This could be a problem, honestly. Let's see. Ragavan is really good against them, though. They are playing the red version, so I should probably just go for a thought says. I kinda think so. Graveyard. Check the top card of their deck, and it's a cathartic reunion. I wanted to thought says that one though. I think we are still going for a thought says. That's a good card, but can I actually attack with it? I think I should probably just get to Delirium as soon as possible. They have another Cathartic Reunion. Take that one. Uh, land? Do we want land? I think we're likely going to draw land. Already know the first card of their deck, but they want to play another bubble. Removal spell, not that needed now. And uh, we can pass the turn. Draw to land. That's good though. That's going to be really good. Okay, so we know Cathartic Reunion. Uh, they drew a card. Okay, they said to meal and what did he get? Nothing. Stomping round tapped. And then they go Tom's Cower. Sure. Creeping Chill. 
Okay, another creeping tree on top of their deck. Wow, okay. Okay, those two creatures are going to be really, really good though. Got the creeping shield out of their deck. I'm going to play two nether goyfs. Now I need something to push a bit more damage, like a bolt or... Yeah, I don't need that. Another ghoul. Two amalgams into play, sure. Or just one, okay, okay. So this card is going to be good, right? Because they cannot really block. So we have not enough damage to them. Okay, and that's a blocker. Do they have another cathartic reunion? Well, they didn't even cast the first one, or maybe they are just going for Ox. Ripping Chill, two Narcomibas, mm, Wonder. Yikes, this doesn't work anymore. I think we just lost. So what do I need here? I mean, even Timur Battle Rage is not going to do that anymore, and this card is kind of useless now that they have a Wonder in their graveyard. 17 life points. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just dead. Maybe I'm forgetting something, but I don't think so. Got the Timur Battle Rage. That's going to be 8 damage, 12. I think that they're going to block, likely. Let's just attack. That's him. With a Shadow into play, we would have won, right? Yeah. Unlike him. I mean, we got a pretty good couple of matches so far, so yeah. yeah they're just going to block everything. We don't have enough damage, sadly. That's okay. So we won, obviously, Leyland of the Void. I think I won one copy of Toxic Deluge. I don't want Push. I don't want Molten Collapse. I don't want Dismember. Tarfire is kind of useless. Blood Moon might be okay, though. Blood Moon is a good card against them if we manage to get into play. If we manage to play it fast enough and we're on the play, so it should be actually good. I think I won one more Bolt instead of... Breach. Anything else seems okay to me. Yeah, I think so. Would you like to play first? Yes, I'd like to play first. Uh, should I keep this end? Because it's looking good, but we are missing a key piece. I think I'm still going to keep. Because sometimes a thought sees it's just going to be good enough to, to win against Rage. Because you need to take the Cathartic Reunion and you're good to go. Okay, okay, okay. Shield, bro. What? So we lost, right? <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're not in a good spot against Lillian of Sanctity, but they only have two cards remaining in their hand. I, I think I'm going to need that card. I'm going to look at my top card. Oh, it's a Timur Battle Rage. If their last card is... No, oh, no, it's Cathartic Reunion. They cannot really cast it, though. What could it be? Oh, they're just casting it to... to Rage. Let's take one, I play Scourge. Let's see how fast I can be with my Scourge. Arcomiba. We have the Coliseum though. Do I really have to cast this, this Thought Seize though? I think I do. But they are going to know about my team or battle. Right? I think I should just attack now. If they want to trade, that's okay. They are taking. Okay, that's good. I think that they are just dead then. Yeah. Okay. That's good enough. Even without casting uh, the Thought Seize. Okay, I, I really need that Lady of the Void though. I think that this time I'm going to Mulligan until I find Lady of the Void. Yeah, Blood Moon is also good against the Cephalic Coliseum, so yeah, that's a good card in this matchup now. Let's go. They have 69 cards in the deck. What? Uh, no, I need, I need Lady Okay, okay, this is really good. Do I need the Basic? No. They have Lady of Sanctity and Lady of the Void. We have Lady of the Void and that's it. But Lillian of the Void should hurt them more than it hurts me. The missile end drop as well. Okay, I'm looking for a Blood Moon, for a Shadow, uh, anything in between. Ragvan. Okay, they just conceded. That's a 20-20 though. Last game, so close to a trophy. Good end. Let's go. So far, this has been the best deck I tried in Modern Horizon 3. So this is looking good. I think I should go for a Thoughtsy. Sadly, I wanted to play the Ragvan, but they are playing green red, so that might be a Brennan 6 deck, so Thoughtsy is kind of mandatory here. Or they have stuff. Yeah, they have random stuff going on here. I'm going to take the one ring, obviously. Because they cannot play Coiling Oracle right now. They have a Bolt. But I think we're fine if we just go for... So I could dash the Ragavan, right? Or I could play Ragavan, play Nether Goyf, and we can just... Yeah, I think I'm going to... 
Maybe they are going to bold the nether god for mini also. If they bold the Rygon, that's still okay though. These cards are so good though. The card quality of this deck grows so much. Oh, that's a big mistake. Sorry. You bolted the wrong one. And we got a Mishra's bubble as well. Ooh, the one ring though. Okay, they're going to take a lot of damage. They play forest and pass the turn, hopefully. Yeah. We know two cards of their deck. Going to attack. We are missing instant. I could bolt them. Yeah, I think I'm going to bolt them. We got the island. Let's go. The thing is, even if they go for the one ring this turn, they kind of have one turn to do something. Otherwise, they are still dead on board. Let's go. So against the one ring and that, that's probably skip shift. They should bring in blood one as well. I don't like push. I don't like molten collapse. I'm playing molten collapse over terminate just because I want to be able to get rid of chalice of the void. That's the main reason. Uh, this member is fine. Turf fire can go. One bolt can go go um, maybe i'm just going to cut to street wraith and okay, we got the ragavan nothing else going on here they likely have a removal spell for the ragavan it's not a great end honestly six damage by turn two i need the thought seas to be able to play the shadow and they have coiling oracles and such i think i shouldn't keep an end like this i need the thought seas and something like that okay this is kind of better i'm going to bottom team more battle rage Okay, they have Grazer, and yeah, this is likely Grazer, yeah, okay. Obviously this was not great, uh, that's actually not bad though, that's a good pickup. Uh, let's go for a Thoughtseas, maybe they have a Dryad, okay, they have Escape Shift, Expressive Iteration, they didn't go for a Flare, which makes sense, obviously. Wow, these cards are so good though, these cards are so good, I think I should take the One Ring. Hopefully they're just going to flare the Grazer. Yeah, Ragavan is not that great against them, it's true, but I think it's better than a random bolt, right? Is it better than push? Yeah, I think so. I think I should keep the Ragavan in. On their play, they might be good enough unless they have Grazer, they're fine, right? Okay, they use the flare. I need a Thought Seize to get rid of that Scape Shift though. Battle Bridge, huh? Valakut. Okay, sure. Maybe we can snipe every single Valakut they have. <laughs> okay, top land, pass the turn, sure. Death Shadow, that's a good one. Yeah, actually, we might win next turn. Okay, the Bolt. Red Shock, play Shadow, play Ragavan. Let's see him. This is a 6-6, six, six, 12 damage. We are one off. I need I need a fetch land. No, it doesn't change anything. I need a bolt. Blood Moon is good though, right? Blood Moon is good though. Yeah, because I don't have lethal right now, right? This is eight damage plus six. It's fourteen. So we are one off. So I should just do this and play Blood Moon. The one ring is really good though. Balakut is going to target my creatures though. Uh, let's let's just play Blood Moon. Maybe sending them down to one was good enough, I'm not too sure. We just won like that, okay. First trophy of the season with one of my favorite decks. Wow, that was a really good run though. Okay, the deck looked amazing. I'm not too sure about Vexing Bubble, that's true. But anything else seems really, really good. I mean, maybe Terminate instead of Molten Collapse. But I want an answer to Chalice in the main deck already. Because, you know, you can Slabyrinth. You can just go Chalice on one by turn one. That's a bit too much. But this deck is looking promising. That's amazing. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to try some other Shadow list. And don't forget to subscribe, share leave a like and stay tuned for more.